food is getting expensive. Well, I've lost mine. I had to go in the shop twice. Honestly, I can't be trusted. Expensive though, isn't it? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm Lee from Mortgage Freely. I talk about money and mum life on the internet. If you can hear some kind of party going on, it's because there is some kind of party going on nearby where I'm parked right now. It's that time again. It is time to do the Aldi shop. I mean, literally there's nothing I would rather be doing less. British summertime is absolutely on right now. Like it is so hot, so sunny. We've actually got the paddling pool out in the garden for the kids, which is just unheard of so far this year. We've had a rocky start to summer in England. Anyways, it's well and truly on. It is so hot. The last place you want to be is Aldi. But I know that if I get this food shop done, it will help the week ahead. Because I just find like going into the working week so much harder when everything is out of control. So I'm here to get the food shop so that I don't have to worry about it during the week whilst I'm working as well as mumming and as well as just generally trying to keep my life together. So that's what we're going to do. One of the things I'm worst at is making a shopping list. So I've kind of half done my shopping list. That probably doesn't help when I end up overspending in Aldi, as you will know if you see my previous vlogs. Also, if you see my previous vlogs, you know when I bought the trolley coins? Well, I've lost mine. So I've had to borrow my husband's. I don't know if I left it in a trolley. Honestly, I can't be trusted. I've got like a basic menu plan. So we have been having a lot of gusto lately. Gusto is literally the biggest life hack for me as a busy parent. I just, I just find it just literally makes my life so much better and so much easier. But I did want to try a week without gusto. Um, partly because there's a lot of recipes now that I'd like to recreate. So we picked out our favorite menu cards. So the menu is this. We've got a pasta dish. We've got a curry dish. We've got like a Chinese Asian inspired dish. We are going to have salmon one day. We're going to have burgers one day. Uh, I think we're going to have a roast dinner next Sunday and I absolutely have not put anything for that on the shopping list, but I guess I can get that through the week. As long as I get most of the stuff, that's the main thing. So I am literally melting right now because obviously I'm in the car, but the car's not on, so the aircon's not on. So I've got to get out of this car, go get the food shop. I will take you with me and then I will show you what I got and how much it cost, most importantly, how much it cost. than previous ones so i'm going to talk you through some of the sections i'm going to start with this section over here which is snacks so i want to get some more healthier snacks so i've got these fiber now because they're only like low calorie but still like a little snack might replace like a titan bar or something to be a little bit healthier so i got those and then i got these dupes for the gray's oat bite so cocoa vanilla and sticky toffee my husband tried those last time and he really liked them these I've got for my daughter's snack for school. My daughter is a little bit of a fussy eater. These are kind of a little bit of a compromise between she thinks she's getting sweet, but yet it's also no artificial colours, fruit juice. It's the best I can do at the minute. I'm working on it. So that's that's what we've got. The fairy snacks for the kids, some mini cheddars. Then we've got the veg section. I got absolutely loads of veg this time. So I got the piccolo tomatoes, which I've mentioned before, absolutely worth it, much better than cherry tomatoes. Got baby cucumbers, because I'm trying to replace my snacks with more whole foods. So I thought maybe some baby cucumbers with some dip could be a good option. Garlic, I've got some uh, easy peelers for the kids, some limes, I've got spring onions. I absolutely love spring onions. I've got cucumber, basil which is for pasta that we're going to make tonight i've got some onions i've got some kale again that's for one of the recipes that we've got planned morning two broccoli i had to get organic broccoli i don't know what was going on with all the broccoli in the shop but they were absolutely tiny like they'd be like two stalks but there was just like no top of the broccoli so i got the organic one because it looked better and it's not that much more expensive either and i'd like to eat more organic food it's just you know cost that's the issue also got some asparagus which is for one of the recipes that we need i've got some ginger i got some strawberries because they look good hopefully we're in good strawberry season again now i got salad tomatoes which is the recipes lettuce peppers which again i want to try and have with a bit of a snack i've got carrots which again i want to try having a bit of a snack 
these have been wasted in our house recently so i really want to make a conscious effort to make sure they don't get wasted my daughter will eat carrot sticks so i want to try and replace some of the snacks with healthier and whole food so carrot sticks are part of the plan there got some bananas uh blueberries were on the aldi super six so i got some of those i got some avocados again this is a commonly wasted food in our house because you can just never tell when an avocado is ripe can you so Hopefully, I'll be able to get those eaten when they are ripe. And I also got some potatoes. Then a really small diversion to the sort of freezery section. I got two pizzas for the kids and I got some sweet potato fries. These are our absolute favorite. We absolutely love these. So we can move on now to bread. So I got, these are my favorite burger buns. Like no other burger buns compare actually to these Aldi specially selected ones. Got some naan bread. I usually buy these when the yellow sticker, but we are running out, so I had to get some of those. So this section, which is our like meats, if you like, I don't actually eat meat. I am pescatarian, but this is where basically the money gets spent. So I got some cooked salmon. I got some uh, raw prawns. I got some smoked salmon uncooked. I got some batter. I got some tuna chunks. I think that's it on protein, because as I said, I don't eat meat, so there's not a lot of meat stuff in our shops in general. I also needed some washing up liquid. Um, I got two of these with the weather being nice. Slushies, you know, not the most healthy, but nice for like a little treat. Then pantry items, I got some garlic puree, some tomato puree and some ginger puree. Now I wouldn't usually get these things, but some of the recipes we have call for like purees and paste and it's just much easier to buy them already done than to make them, frankly. Got some soy sauce. So I feel like we need that for every single recipe we ever make. This is like the Aldi dupe of um, a different brand of soup for my husband to take to work. Some stock for cooking, egg noodles, two of the Aldi dupe coffees for the Nescafe Alter Rica, which I've mentioned every single time I've done a video because it's the best. Um, and some honey, which is one of the things that we go through like mad in this house. I also got my husband some yogurt. Then there was an absolute travesty because they had no own brand Weetabix and I am not paying for branded Weetabix. So, I got some Aldi's Honey Nut Corn Flakes. I also got some Frosted Flakes, but the kids have already started eating them literally the minute I came through the door with them. Hashtag mom life. Then I got some Greek style salad cheese. I did not buy the feta because even though it is better, I do waste it sometimes. So I just got this one because it's literally twice the price to get actual feta. I got some of these cheese sticks. Now I know this is not the best for the environment. I'm very, very sorry. Um, but I got these because they're so easy to take to work. I do need to progress to just cutting up the cheese. I know this sounds ridiculous. I'm hearing myself say it, so I'll take that one on board. Double cream for a recipe. Nord pack. We've got some Greek yogurt. We've got some peanut butter. Now, they didn't have a small one of this and I wanted the 100% nut one. I wanted like the no other stuff in it one. This is the only one that they had. It's absolutely massive. So that was 3 dollars I think. Um, I got smoothies for my daughter. Got some eggs, some orange juice, and then two packs of the like water fruit shooty type things. And I got a big thing full of toilet roll. So I'm gonna go through the receipt in a minute and see what cost the money, but first I gotta get all this put away. So I finally put all the shopping away and I thought we would go through the receipt. This is what I like to do when I've been to the shop. I've spent quite a bit of money. I like to have a look through the receipt just to see if there's anything that I wasn't aware of the price of or where sort of the money went, if you like. I had to go in the shop twice because I did all my shopping. I spent £104.38. Then I realised I didn't have garlic bread or any of the ice creams. I actually didn't show you those when I was putting the shopping away. So I already put the ice cream in the freezer. So I got like an eight pack of mini ice creams. I got like a three pack of like Magnum dupes. And I also got some ice lollies. So that little extra shop was £7.56. So that's on top of the £104 that I already spent. So I had to go back in the shop. It's just classic me, right? So just looking through the receipt for the first shop, so the £104.38p that I spent, um, the first thing on this list is toilet tissue, which was 4 dollars which is really good because as I mentioned before, it used to be like £6.50 or something. So I'm happy with that. Um, there's not loads, you know. So salmon, three ninety nine for the cooked salmon and then £4.49 for the smoked salmon. That is like the nicer salmon that Aldi do. It is worth paying for, so I don't mind that. But it's expensive though, isn't it? For one meal. But I guess it's cheaper than getting a takeaway. So, and we do enjoy it and it is healthy. Cheese, that was £2.49. Orange juice was £2.49. Sweet potato fries were £2.45. Uh, peanut butter, as I mentioned, was 3 
Piccolo tomatoes were 2 39 because I got a big pack. Uh, eggs were 2 35 Coffee was £2.15 and I got two of those. What else was over £2? The Nor pack was £2.09p, but it's a bargain compared to Lur pack. And then the last thing was the tuna, which was £2.59. So if you've seen some of my previous Aldi shops, I have spent like a lot of money in Aldi, but that was kind of for like a week plus things that we'd need for the rest of the month. But right now I'm kind of limiting my shops to more like the week ahead when it comes to meals and snacks. But honestly, we've probably got stuff that'll last us two weeks. I've spent just over £110 and I don't think I'll be back in Aldi for at least two weeks. We'll have like Gusto or something coming next week and we may have to do a top up shop, but I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like I'm definitely reducing our grocery spend and I'm definitely also reducing the amount of packaged and processed foods that we've got. So I feel like the veg section and the whole food section is getting bigger every time. I will say though, at the moment in the UK, food is getting expensive. I'm sure it's nothing compared to my Canadian friends. I know the price of groceries over there is just like mind blowing. Um, but for us here in the UK, we're definitely feeling the rise in food prices at the minute. I went into a shop the other day and I feel like I bought nothing and came out and it cost 50 pound, but that just seems to be the way it is at the moment. The price of olive oil has absolutely skyrocketed. Like some olive oil, so extra virgin olive oil in some shops at the minute is £8.40. £8.40 for a litre of olive oil. That is crazy prices here. It was like under £5 not that long ago. Apparently it's due to a poor harvest. So the price of olive oil is going through the roof at the minute. Um, I did not have to buy olive oil. Otherwise my shop would have been considerably more expensive. Thank goodness. I do need to pick up a couple of other bits that I just can't get in Aldi. As I said, they had no own brand Weetabix, which was an absolute nightmare um, because this family eats Weetabix like crazy. Um, and then there are a few other branded bits that I do like to get that you just can't get in Aldi. Like I like to get Jason's sourdough. Um, what else do I like to get branded? I like to get branded oat milk. I don't like the Aldi oat milk. I've tried it. It's just not for me. People have said to try the little one. So I think I might try that. Shall we do our next big shot at Lidl? I don't know, that makes me feel, even just saying that makes me feel nervous. I've never done a big shop at Little. I did just join the Little Rewards app and I got a free tote bag as well. If you saw the last video where I did like a money saving day in the life, I got a free tote bag and they've got this amazing game on at the minute where you can win free fruit. So maybe we'll do our next food shop at Little and compare and see how I get on. Let me know if you're an Aldi fan or a Little fan and let me know how much you spend on your family weekly food shop. I don't think I explained this, but we're a family of four so we've got two adults, we've got one five-year-old and one baby. But my children eat some of their meals at school and nursery, which takes down our food bill. I hope you've enjoyed coming shopping with me. I'm Margaret Lee. I talk about money and mum life on the internet. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.